In this lecture, we are discussing what is the Firebase command line interface, also called CLI for short. The Firebase command line interface allows you to manage, view, and deploy your Firebase projects. So we're going to use the command line interface to manage our Firebase project. Like you can instantiate or create a new Firebase project. You can create a database. You can set up hosting. You can upload files to be hosted. You can check your database. So you can interact with Firebase via the CLI, the command line. So we are going to be working with the terminal or command line on our computers. This is a default app that's built into your computer and via that terminal or command line you can install and use the Firebase command line interface. So it just means it's a way to interact with Firebase or interface with Firebase via the command line. So we will have a prerequisite section all about how to work with the command line in general because then we're going to be using the command line in order to use the Firebase command line interface. So as a developer you have to know how to use the command line for to manage your projects and also to use command line interfaces like Firebase CLI. So instead of having to go to the website to use Firebase we can interact with Firebase via our command line. It's going to make your interactions with Firebase and your development a lot faster. You can perform tasks like real-time database management from your command line. As well, you can deploy and manage Firebase Cloud functions via the command line, and we're going to be doing this in our project. The Firebase command line is built on Node.js, so that's why you have to have Node.js and NPM installed on your computer. And this is free to install. It's free to use Node.js and Firebase CLI. But in order to work with the Firebase CLI, you have to have Node installed. You can read more at firebase.google.com slash docs slash CLI. This is the Firebase documentation and the section on the command line interface. This provides information for how to set up or update the CLI. We're going to be going through this together. So first you have to set up a Firebase project, then you can start using the Firebase CLI. We're going to install it together and then use it throughout our project. If you liked this video, then go to training.mammothinteractive.com. We have tons more content on blockchain, web development, machine learning, and much more. We also have a membership for just $19 a month where you can get access to our 372 course bundle and counting.